What's up? JB's fishing stuff. He's on already. How's it going, man? So, am, is it easier to see like this or if I turn this light on? Is it worse with the light on? Maybe if I turn it down so the light's like not right directly there. Let me put this computer on a tackle box. I got some stuff to unbox tonight. Quite a bit of stuff that I ordered over Christmas that's finally started trickling in. Tackle warehouse. More Tackle Warehouse. Uh, Susquehanna Fishing Tackle. Okay, good. Glad you can see. Good deal. Six cents. And a couple other things. So how was everybody's new year? I guess you can probably still be fishing down there in Georgia, AJB. Eh, Do a review of my boat? Yeah. I will make a note of that. Maybe, uh, would you rather me do, uh, do a live walk around of it or just a video of it? Twelve months a year in Georgia. Yeah, dang, lucky. Although the water in some places is not frozen here, a lot of it's frozen. Live, Nathan. Okay, I'll see what I can put together. I'll have to clean my boat up a little bit before I do a walkthrough on of the thing. I've got uh, my kayak too, which is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet rig. I have to show you that sometime. So I'm going to hold off on the unboxing just a little bit because usually guys trickle in a little later and then they always ask, did you start, did you start, did you do the unboxing already? But, uh, <laughs> well, anything I show you, I'm going to have to re-show you because people hop in so late, but check out my, uh, my spin to win wheel. It looks different, different this time. See that? I got something different from up my sleeve. What's up, Adam from Indiana? How you doing, man? Got something a little different on the old spin to win wheel, which I think will be fun. Uh, Happy New Year, Ronald. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, so... I'm, what I've basically done is taken a bunch of my tackle out of my monster bo boxes and lucky boxes and mystery tackle boxes. And I've put them in what I'm calling bait buckets. Doing good, Adam. Thanks. So let me show you. Let me show you here. Here's the hard bait bucket. It's got all the hard baits. Crank baits, jerk baits, poppers, all kinds of all kinds of lures. And uh, then I got <laughs> soft plastics bucket. Full of soft plastics. Guggen Bandito Bugs. Jean LaRue Punch Out Cross. KVD Caffeine Shads. On and on and on. Bruiser Baits. 
What up, Mr. Funk and CT? Brandon, how's it going? Chewbacca, how you doing, man? And then I got what I'm calling kind of the terminal tackle bu uh, bucket, which is really anything that doesn't fall in that other line. So it has hooks in it. It's got a pair of sunglasses, that fanny pack I was showing you guys uh, out of the Guggen box, uh, buzz baits, chatter baits, spinner baits, frogs. So three different buckets. So the way most people have go-to boxes. You got a five-gallon go-to bucket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but these buckets are for you guys. And they're not for me. What I'm going to do is uh, on these live events, I'll probably probably have about five winners each, each night that I do these. And based on the wheel here, if you get a one, that means you get to choose one prize from one bucket and I'll let you pick which bucket you want and then I'll randomly reach in and pull it out. And that's what you won. If you get a two, two prizes, you could pick two, uh, two out of the same bucket or one out of two different buckets, whatever you, whatever you want. Okay. And then if you land on the X, you're screwed, too bad, you get nothing. So there's two red X's. If you land on the red X, it's just like Wheel of Fortune or whatever, too bad if you get a bankrupt. And then uh, and then I got three other deals on the wheel. Mr. Bass sticker, jackpot! That's the jackpot. You get one out of all three buckets. Three prizes, that's the jackpot prize. Uh, then I got KVD, Kevin Van Dam, the greatest fisherman in the world. And he is like the mega super prize in that once a month, I'm going to give away a large prize. If you land on KVD, you get to go in the drawing for the once a month mega prize. And then the last one is this angel <laughs> that's an angel by the way and if you land on the angel you get a prize and you can pick one person in the chat currently that gets a prize also so how about that the bass addiction wheel of fortune yeah right on so i'm spicing up the old Spin to win wheel. We'll see how you guys like it. I think it's going to be pretty fun. The Bass Addiction Wheel of Fortune. That's probably what I should call it. Pretty funny. Pretty funny. KJ31. Thanks for hopping on. Simon, good to see you. Yeah, the good old spinning wheel. Spin to win wheel. So what's everybody been up to? Anybody been buying any new tackle? Any new tackle you want to talk about? I've been doing several videos on that uh, Mega Bass Dark Sleeper I was telling you guys about. Someone be my guardian tackle angel. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh Your questions are easy for the pros in here and make it hard for us newbies to win. Please keep that in mind. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, my questions for the spin to win wheel are, ba I, I, I created several questions. You're right. They may be difficult, but they're mostly based on stuff in my other videos. So if you've watched my other videos, you'll probably know the answers to these. If not, then you may have to get someone who lands on the angel and uh, 
convince him to persuade to 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 share his prize with you. Thirty packs of young dangers for five bucks. Chewbacca, man, that's a great deal. How'd you pull that one off? Did you do it at gunpoint or something? Adam Murphy just spent three hundred bucks at Bass Pro. Way to go, supporting the cause. Good job, man. At Academy Sports, 30 pack of yum dingers for five bucks, huh? I'll have to go check that out. Yum dingers are sweet. Who else? Who else bought any new tackle? trying to think if I've bought any new tackle. I've ordered a crap ton of new tackle, but just walking in the store, I can't think of any. I'll show you one thing in my unboxing that I got in the mail. I'll just go ahead and show you this. This is another one of those swim baits. This is a smaller one. And uh, this is the Savage Gear uh, slow sinking swim bait. This is golden shiner color. Let's see what you think of that. Try to open the package here and see if you can get a better look at it. Gee crack bellows stick worm. What do you think about it? I have no idea what a gee crack bellows stick worm is, Simon. Never heard of it. Stick worms are, are great, though. JBs, they made a bunch of new jigs. Heck, yeah. You make your own jigs. Sweet. What kind of jigs? So here's this Savage swim bait out of the package. It's called a foreplay. It's got a joint at the head. You can see that. And then it's got a joint in the middle of the body, and it's got a joint at the tail. This, like I said, is a golden shiner color. Pretty nice color. Supposed to be really good action. Um, I watched uh, the videos of this guy. You should check him out, North Dakota Yak Angler. He does just fishing videos for the most part, but he catches really big pike and musky and he was catching some really nice fish on this so i decided to give it a try look how skinny it is compared to some of these swim baits out there pretty thin pretty lifelike i mean very lifelike looking gill plates eyes these fins it all looks pretty legit all kinds of bass jigs. That's cool. Nathan getting ready for Wally season. I love fishing for Wallies. Walleye is good fishing. Adam, I've also bought a hundred ish of Bandito Bigs Black and Blue, best color. The old Bandito Bugs. Yeah, I agree. I think it looks really cool. These are, are really reasonably priced too. These are in the teens. I don't remember the exact price, but it's something like 13, 14 bucks, something like that. Really good price for a hard swim bait, glide bait. You can also you can also fish this uh, when you uh, twitch it. It does the old 180 really well. And uh, you know in, in swim bait fishing that that whole 180 action it's pretty important. Dan W. Picked up three different mystery tackle box boxes at Dick's Sporting Goods and got the same lures down to size and color and all three. And they were three different box numbers? What? Man, you got ripped. Jeez. That sounds like a little bait and switch putting a putting different box numbers on the exact same box. 
Yeah, it is a good price for the Savage Gear 4 play. That's what it's called there. Pretty cool <coughs> swim bait. Simon's getting some glide baits. Cool. That sounds fun. KJ31, I don't know if you've checked out the Mike Buka Baby Bull Shad. Yeah, I have checked them out. I have not bought them, but I've looked at them quite a bit. Seems like uh, Carl's Club had those on sale a while back, and I looked at them for quite a while and decided uh, I decided not to buy them yet, but I've heard a lot of good things about them. Uh, Simon, I think you're asking, do I watch the tackle warehouse videos? What's new videos? Yeah, I do watch them periodically. Not, not every single one, but I do to get ideas of what I might be interested in checking out. So yeah, tackle warehouse makes great video. In fact, they have you know, their what's new videos are good, but they've got a ton of instructional videos as well that are very, very good. You can get sucked into those for hours. Thanks. Yeah, I like this hat too. This is like the old school foam trucker cap, the old Chatterbait logo. I think it's pretty sweet as well. I, uh, I bought this at discount tackle i think and they were on sale really good price like 10 bucks something like that do you know if i cast will happen well from what i've heard it may be uh it's probably going to happen but it's going to be virtual which will, won't matter for us i guess because most of us don't ever go down there maybe you do but uh I don't know. I don't know if it's going to happen in person. I heard today that uh, England just shut their whole country down because they say there's some more aggressive form of virus now. I don't know. It's, it's like they're shutting things down constantly. So who knows what will happen to ICAST, Simon? I don't know. Ever watch the biography video on the bubonic lures painter? No, but that sounds really interesting. I may have to check that out, Mr. Funk. Nathan Cook traded my ice shanty for St. Croix Avid and Grizzly Meat, then made a deal with my buddy. I'll tow his boat for his G. Loomis. Whoa, that's a good deal. All you got to do is tow a boat to get a free G. Loomis IMX Pro Rod. That's a sweet deal, dude. I love those St. Croix rods as well. I haven't tried a grizzly rod. I've seen them, but I've, I've never tried one. Oh, I think you're saying you'll have to correct me on that one. All right, Simon. Okay. Thanks. All right. Let's open something else up. How about this six cents lures box? Let's show you. Couple of things. I think I'd mentioned in uh, one of my live videos or unboxing videos that well, I think it was the unboxing of the Super Six Sack. They had a card in there that if you bought one hat, you got another one for free or something. So that's what I did. I bought one and got one free or half off or something like that. This one I think is pretty cool. It's a camo, it's like a black camo. Six cents lid. Pretty cool. And then this is like a white or lighter colored camo. So that was a pretty good deal. Buy one. I have to look on the label to see if it was. Well, the label's not in here. <laughs> anyway, it was a good deal. So two six cents lids. Put an eight on the wheel. 
<laughs> I'm not putting an eight on the wheel. Oh, man. Got to go. All right, KJ31. See you later, buddy. Landon, man, you missed some cool stuff, but there's more cool stuff to come. And then I got one of these uh, six cents bait bags. It's called the bait zip bait bag. I don't have any of these, so I thought I'd try one. You know, just put your soft plastics in there. It's got a label you can write on. It's supposed to be pretty durable. So I'm going to give that a try. Any of you guys use these things? These bait bags? Thanks, Landon. All right. We got several on here now. So let's just keep unboxing for a little bit. Well, I, I tell you what, before I unbox anymore, let's go ahead and uh, do a little trivia to see who spins to win. Spins the spinning wheel. So... I will explain this wheel one more time here before I before I go. I got these bait buckets. I got this one with miscellaneous tackle, uh, like terminal tackle, spinner baits, chatter baits, buzz baits, sunglasses, stuff like that. Then I got. A soft plastics bucket full of soft plastics. And then I got a hard baits bucket full of crank baits and jerk baits and spooks, whatever you can think of. Mostly baits that have come out of my monster bass boxes or mystery tackle boxes, that kind of stuff. And I'm going to let you spin to win something out of these buckets. So the way you get to spin is I'm going to ask you a trivia question. And it's going to be something out of my previous videos. And then we'll spin. If it lands on a one, you get, you get one bait. If you land on an X, you strike out, you get nothing. If you land on a two, you get two. If you land on Mr. Bass, you get three. Jackpot. If you land on the angel, you get one, and you can select one person in the chat who gets one as well. And the greatest fisherman of all time, KVD, if you land on him, you don't get a prize today, but you get in a drawing for a monthly mega prize. And it'll be something like a, uh, a complete monster bass box, something like that. So there we go. Kick your bass, got your jigs today. Awesome. You're going to love those. They're great. Go KVD. Yeah, KVD is good. So that's a good deal. You could get in a drawing for a full box of lures. <laughs> All right. So let me pull up the first question. And then if you guys remember the way this works is just whoever I see in line with the first right answer, that's what you get. I love true or false. Well, I don't have any true or false here, but I might try to think of one just depending upon how it's going. I'm only going to do five of these tonight. I did like 10 or 12, something like that last week, and it took me forever to ship them all out. So, I'm going to stick with five. All right. First question. Well, that one might be a little hard. This one should be a little easier for, for some of you guys anyway. All right. What is the name of the swim bait that Brandon Polinick was fishing with, with me? It's a Roman made swim bait. What's it called? What 
is the swim bait or the glide bait. It's a glide bait, actually. Kick your bass, got it. He was first, Yeti Whisperer was right behind him, and Nate came in third. The negotiator. The negotiator. Okay, so kick your bass is first tonight. So, okay, here's the other thing. Once you win, you can't win again for tonight. So kick your bass, you're done. But stick around. All right, here we go. Kick your bass. Let's see, see what you're going to land on. <laughs> Jackpot. You landed on the Mr. Bass logo, dude. Holy crap, you're lucky. That's three prizes. Three. All right, so congratulations. Do you want... Uh, do you want one out of each bucket? Do you want, how do you want to mix it up? The hard bait, soft baits, or the other bucket? Yeah, I put up quite a few videos, Austin. You're right. Negotiator. All right, I'm waiting for Kick Your Bass to give me his answer. Does he want, which bucket does he want me to pick from? One of each. Okay, here we go. Soft plastics bucket first. Yum dinger. 10 pack, four inch. Gilly suit is the color. All right. Next, hard bait. How about that? Guggen, Guggen Squad Recon Crankbait. And this is a uh, native shad color. How about that? That's pretty sweet. All right, and then... The everything else bucket. Fanny pack. Nope. I won't pull I won't pull that one on you. Here we go. It's a super frog. Uh a soft bodied super frog. Color number 288. So there you go. Yum dingers, frog, Guggen crankbait. Congratulations, kick your bass. I gotta write these down while we're talking or I'll forget. Man, that kick your bass, he's a lucky guy. He won last week too. All right, Guggen crank. Yellow frog, yum dinger. All right, <clears throat> pretty sweet. Just give him bobbers. That's what I should do. Give him three packs of bobbers. Congratulations, kick your bass. All right, let's open another box here of stuff. I've already cracked this open, but I have not looked in it. I can't remember what I bought. Wrapped up paper. Oh, man. Holy moly. Whew. This is a box right here. All right. Check this out. This is a box of S waivers, boys and girls. Check that. This is a uh, Pac-Man color. This is the 168 size. So it's a little, it's not the biggest size. Man, check that color out though. That is flashy. These are all 168s. 
just about <laughs> I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these bad boys in here. How about that? <laughs> Dump your order in the buckets. Uh, ain't happening. This is not going in the buckets. Who knows, though? One of these S waivers might be my big KVD prize for the month, though. You never know. It's going to be something big. It'll be a full monster bass box or something cool like this. All right. So this color is Horizon Shad. Look at that. Pretty nice. Let's see, how much do these cost? Okay, the S waiver 168, 19 bucks. Cost $19. $19, so it's not super crazy. Here's another one, this is a Terminator. I don't know what I think of this one. This almost looks like a Christmas tree ornament. See those colors? That's just from the reflection of the of my lights. It's re there's really no color on this thing. It's actually just all silver, silver gills. But the light reflects off of it and makes it look like it's got color. $19 to make you holla. You're right, Simon. These are fish catching machines, boys. These S waivers. And even in parts of the world, you know, if you're not in California and Texas and Florida, these S waivers are smaller. So they catch, they work everywhere. All right, here's a good, more subtle color. This one's called Know It. Know It. See, that's just kind of a, like a basic little greener see if I can get my light to not jack with these too bad that should have been the question guess the price yeah I might do a guess the price sometimes maybe on the bigger lures here's crystal minnow crystal minnow it's got a little purplish hue to it and it's got this sparkly lateral line down the side yeah these are made by river 2c pike candy you're right the pike will, pike will love these as well it's not just for bass when's the next question i'll do another question after this uh <laughs> unboxing landed Oh, this is a color I really wanted. New bluegill. This is a really good color. Definitely will work in my part of the world. You could also use this as a as a perch lure up north. I'm sure it would fool those smallies. All right, the last one here is the uh, baby bass. Man, that's a good looking one as well. Jan, how's it going, buddy? I got your stuff in the mail just yesterday, dropped it in yesterday. So you're down in Puerto Rico, so I don't know. It could be two weeks before you see it. Yeah, Guggen Slayer. I think this baby bass is a awesome color. And this is the 168 size as well. They do make some beautiful baits, JB. Okay, I've got uh, a big one in here too, just one. This is the 200 size. And this is co colors called Party Crasher. This is also a good looking good looking one let me take this one out gonna, gonna 
up close look at it. There you go. Check that out. Party Crasher. You're right. It is amazing. Smallies will eat a 12 inch lure. It's fun to troll. If none of you guys have ever trolled, trolling for bass is fun. Of course, this is the 200. Let me let me take a, let me open up this baby bass 168 and I'll show you side by side in case in case you no, you're not familiar with these you can see how how they compare size wise. So that's the 200 and that's the 168. If I don't drop them. Definitely a lot smaller. We'll do them side by side. You can see how much fatter this thing is too. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Striper party. You're right. <laughs> okay, I've also got a few spooks in here. This is the one knocker. This, cur this color is called Pearl Shad. These are really good topwater lures. And in the fall, when they're busting on shad, this is an excellent color. Then I got three of these all, all the same, all the same size. And then they give you, and then uh, Tackle Warehouse shirt. All right, so that is that box. S waivers. And some spooks. Yeah, Nathan, uh, these aren't uh, these aren't that bad to store. I'm probably just going to store them in a regular old tackle box because uh, I don't really care about scratching them up. I mean, the more beat up they are, sometimes the the better they catch fish. And the tail is really hard; it doesn't bend, and uh, I'm not that worried about the tail getting torn up. So these S waivers, I'll just store in a regular tackle box. Okay. Pretty sweet. All right. Simon was wanting me to do another question so we could spin the wheel again. So let's do that. Let me check my questions here. Head and spook, so good. All right. Uh, okay. Like I said, you got to watch my videos to know the answers to this. So I don't know if this one, if you watch my videos, this should be easy to answer. If you haven't, it won't. I did a video on when I was in a tournament and our boat sank. And we had to jump off the boat onto a buoy marker and the Coast Guard came and rescued us. What was the name of the lake that our boat sank in? Nothing like good old Simon says. So what was the name of the lake? Nathan Cook, you are the winner. First First right answer, Sam Rayburn Guggenslager was not right. It was Lake St. Clair. That's a pretty good video. You ought to go watch that one. So, Nathan, you get to spin to win. Are you ready? Ready or not, we're going to do it. Here we go.
one. <laughs> but you didn't get an X. You can see you're in the one. So good job. Nathan, which bucket do you want to pick from? Hard bait, soft bait, or the miscellaneous bucket? Yeah, I did tell the story on the last stream, Jan, but I also have a video about it. Nathan wants a hard bait. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Bam. It is a KVD jerk bait, the J200 in pro blue, an excellent color. Strike King. Congratulations, Nathan. It is not a mega bass. Sorry, but Strike King jerk bait is not a bad deal. So I'll put that over there for you. Congratulations. Sweet. That was fun. That was fun. That's a good jerk bait. And it's an excellent color. Pro blue, man. It works in like three quarters of the world. Probably works everywhere. You are welcome, man. You are welcome. All right. How are we doing for time? It's 842. Boy. All right. We'll open. Uh, how about a tackle warehouse? Another tackle warehouse box. More swim baits, boys. And girls, sorry. I don't know if I have any girls on here, to tell you the truth. I haven't seen any. All right, two swim baits. This swim bait is made by Evergreen Tackle. And it is called the Evergreen Brim Slide. How about that, boys? The evergreen brim slide. I got two different colors here. This one's called farm pond brim. And this one is called wild brim. Okay, JB's wife is watching with us, so we do have a lady. My wife secretly watches some sometimes. I had a, some daughters on last week, so got a few females. That's pretty, isn't it? So this is both of them. If I go back a little bit, it seems like the lighting's a little better, but you don't get to see as much detail. How about that? <laughs> Nathan's trying to trade... He's trying to trade his, his KVD jerk bait for one of these. Not going to work, man. It's not going to work. Sorry. That's all I had in that, uh, in that box. And a Tackle Warehouse sticker. Those are sweet, though. I can't wait to try those out. Those were part of... I think those were part of their... 25 days of Christmas deal. One day they had uh, some of those on sale. Are those affordable? Kick your bass. What do you call affordable? And then I'll tell you yes or no. The hookup sells cases of those brim slides, do they? I like that hookup tackle. They do some good videos too. I like to watch their videos. Dugan Slayer, you're pretty close on the price. I paid $5 less than that. So that kind of tells you, kick your bass. If you look at Guggen's price there, Guggen Slayer, I paid five bucks less than that. Actually, I paid six bucks less than that. 
They are very realistic looking swim baits. They're beautiful. Okay. I guess it's time to spin again already because we went through that box so fast. I got three more, three more I'm giving out tonight. So let me check my next question. Okay. Now this is on video, sort of, but there's also clues in the background here that will give you this answer if you have not seen on my videos. What is, you guys ready for the question? Hey, Rob C. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate you watching. I really appreciate it a lot. All right, here's the question. What is Mr. Bass's favorite college football team? What is Mr. Bass's favorite college football team? Kick your bass. You can't win twice, man. Wrong, Bubba Stars. If you're wondering, look at Kick Your Bass's answer. Landon, 4414, you are the winner. Congratulations. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Playing for the national championship next week, next Monday night. Right on, Chuck. You got it, Simon. You guys are on it. But Landon was first. All right, Landon. Let's see if you get lucky. Hopefully you don't get a red X and get nothing. Oh, jackpot, Mr. Bass logo again. Holy cow. We got two jackpot winners in the same night. That is crazy. You sure you want three, Landon? Sure you don't want to just... Take one for the team and only do one. All right. Okay, you can pick. Do you want one from each bucket? How do you want to divide it up? You want them all from the hard bait bucket, all from the soft baits? One of each. Okay. That's what we'll do then. Starting with the hard baits. Here we go. Bam. This is a cold blooded baits thermocline crankbait. This color is high scale. High scale crankbait. Green eyes, red back, chartreuse lateral line, white belly. All right. Soft plastic bucket. Here we go. Soft plastics. Oh, I can't get two of them. Bam. What is this? This is the River 2C Mad Yabby Ultra Durable Creature Bait. And this is the Caution Craw. Caution Craw color. Nice. All right, last bucket. This is the terminal tackle line miscellaneous spinner baits, I think. This. Yeah, this is an interesting lure. This is the clear cut spinner bait. It's called a CXS 6000. 
This came out of the the uh, Monster Bass boxes, and uh, it's three quarters of an ounce. The color is Threadfin Ghost. It's strange. It's a spinner bait, but it's also got like a bladed jig uh, bill on it as well. I've never fished this, so don't know what to expect there. But Landon, I got to write this down. Four, four, one, four. You got the clear cut, the Mad Yabby, and the cold blooded baits thermocline. Congratulations, man. <laughs> yeah sweet that's pretty fun so i got two more two more to give away there so let's look at a couple of more a couple of more boxes this one is pretty pretty crazy look at this rod warrior usa I did a video where I talked about rod socks, and that's what this is. This is a box of rod socks, and I love rod socks. I like all my rods and rod socks, but these are kind of unique. These are neoprene, and I talked about why I'm really starting to go to the neoprene. I like the neoprene a lot. I think they protect your rods better than any of the other rod socks that I've tried. The other thing I really like about these neoprene is they, uh, the hooks don't penetrate the neoprene like they do the other rod socks. That's the worst part about a rod sock is your treble hooks, especially man, get hooked up in those things and it's a pain getting them out. Well, these neoprene ones, that's not a problem. <clears throat> But these are even more special because <laughs> I had a monogrammed. They're Mr. Bass Ride Socks. How about that? Is that sweet or what? Mr. Bass Neoprene Ride Socks. Woohoo! Pretty awesome. <clears throat> so you can get your own name on, on your on your rod socks if you want. If you go to these guys, Rod Warrior USA. And they're about the same price. <clears throat> like if you buy these uh, at six cents fishing, they're like nine or ten bucks each. And if you buy them from this Rod Warrior, it's only like an extra buck or two. And uh you can put your name on them if you desire. So I got some blue ones, some orange ones, some pretty cool camo color as well. Show you the camo. Pretty sweet. If you've not tried a neoprene rod sock, they're the bomb. I love these things. They also got this uh, these cables on them. You put that around your handle of your of your reel, and then they're not coming off. I actually had uh, several of the the regular like rod rod jacket ones that are made out of nylon or whatever blow off of my rods on the boat one time. <laughs> So, rod socks are cool, man. This digital camo is a pretty sweet pattern. All right. That is that. We're already in an hour, just about. Yes, <laughs> Rob, they make them for spinning rods and casting rods. And you can also get them in different lengths. So, if you've got some super short rods, like, say, five and a half foot or six foot long, 
you can order shorter ones. Then if you have really long, like swim bait rods, you know, nine feet, eight feet long, nine feet long, <clears throat> you can uh, get longer ones made. They do work. They work great. Nathan, you're right, man. Rod socks are a must. Rods are, are expensive. Even if you, let's say you buy like those proficiency rods I did a video on, they're 79 bucks each. That's still a lot of money. And you uh, put a rod sock on it and it's going to protect, it really protects it. Especially guides, man. It's so easy to break your guides off in your truck or in your boat or whatever. And uh, plus it keeps them from getting all tangled up. Going good, Tyler. Going good. Yeah, uh, Tyler, those six cents rod sleeves are pretty sweet, aren't they? Yeah, I got that's how I got into this because I have the other rod socks that I've always used. And then six cents sent me one in one of the super six sacks, the neoprene. And I was like, what is this? Then I was sold. I loved it. Okay. Two more. We got two more spinners here. Spin for a boat. I don't think so. All right. Uh, let's see what our next question, next trivia question is. Um, all right. This one is should be easy. Not only have I talked about this, I've done videos on this that you could have watched. I talked about this in the last live stream I did last week, and I have even mentioned it here tonight once. So this should be fairly easy. What is my favorite mega bass swim bait? And to give you a hint, not a glide bait, swim bait. What is my favorite mega bass swim bait? Nope, the ice slide is a glide bait, Nate. That's a sweet. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love that. It's not my favorite, though. It's not the one I fish with more than anything. Guggen Slayer, Mag Draft. That's a sweet one, too. But nope. Still out there, guys. Man, I thought this would be easier. Because I talk about this one all the time. Spark Shad, no, but it's sweet, especially for smallies. Kick your bass. Now kick your bass is bragging. He says he could get every answer. He's already won, though. You can't win twice in a night. Not the freestyle, not the spark shad. Holy cow. This is amazing. All right. Mag Slow. Guggen Slayer, you got it. Dark Sleeper. The Dark Sleeper is my favorite. I mentioned it tonight. You guys just must not have heard it. And I talked about it a lot last week. And I've done several videos on it as well. Remembered the IG clip. Yeah. I did it in the Instagram. I did an Instagram clip on it as well. You're right. Kick your bass and do it. Nate, you were so close. You were throwing out all kinds of answers. Just missed the dark sleeper. And Tyler was thinking about it. But he didn't put it down. Sweet. Okay, Guggen Slayer. We better spin for you then, huh? Let me write this down. Guggen Slayer. All right. Here we go. My, uh, my Alexa's over there talking. All right. She's shut up now. Here we go, Guggen Slayer. Angel! Oh my goodness, how about that? So if you haven't heard, 
If I land, if you land on the angel, you get one bait, but you also can pick one person in the comments and they get one bait as well. So Guggen Slayer, you won one and you can pick one person out of the live chat comments here and they win one as well. So pick the person first. You can't pick someone who's already won. Pick one person then I'll spin for you and then I'll spin for that person. All right, they're trying to hit him up. Trying to hit him up. I don't see an answer from him yet. Whoever is under this comment, okay. It's Rob C then. Rob C, congratulations. You are the winner of the Guggen Slayer being an angel. All right, so Guggen Slayer, which uh, bucket do you want me to select your prize from? The hard bait, soft baits, or the other bucket? All right, waiting for Guggen Slayer's answer. Rob C., give me your answer, too. Rob C., what do you want? All right, Guggen Sl Slayer wants the hard bait. Rob C., what do you want? Okay, Guggen Slayer. All right, Rob wants a soft bait. Guggen Slayer wants a hard bait. So let's read in here. I try to reach down a little further this time. Let's see what I got. All right, this is the B8 Lab Dizzy Diver, and the color is Perfect Peacock. Let's see if I can. There it is. All right, Guggen Slayer, that's yours, Dizzy Diver, Dizzy Diver. Congratulations. And Rob C., we got to pick a soft bait out for you. I'll reach down here a little deeper for this one as well. You are the winner of Death Wish Hand Poured Lunkers Swim Baits. How about that, Rob? See, that's a pretty cool looking color. I wonder if it tells the color. <coughs> Doesn't say. It's a shad color. Pretty nice. Rob C. Got the Death Wish. Whoo. All kinds of winners tonight. One, two, three, four. I got one more to go. We'll do after another unboxing. All right. Just for your information, I'm not doing mega unboxings every single week. I don't, can't afford it. Uh, so once all these lures come, we're gonna have to do something different. But we will keep giving. We will keep spinning the wheel. Yep. You're welcome, Rob. No problem. We will keep spinning the wheel for fun. All right. What is this? All right. So I'm only going to open one more. I've got, what do you guys want to see? I got a uh, box from Susquehanna Fishing Tackle. No idea what's in it. Can't remember. Or I've got another Tackle Warehouse box. It's a big box, but it it's got it doesn't it doesn't feel like it, there's a bunch of stuff in it. So, what's the vote? Susquehanna fishing tackle or tackle warehouse? Thanks, Dominic. I hope it blows up. There's a Susquehanna a tackle warehouse. Tackle warehouse. Aaron's outdoors. Yeah, that's a new name. What up, Aaron? Susquehanna, white box, Susquehanna, tackle, tackle. All right, white, 
All right, it looks like it's about even. So I'm gonna go with the white box, Susquehanna. <clears throat> I fished the Susquehanna River for the first time this year. It was amazing. It's in Pennsylvania. If you've never fished that river, it's insanely amazing. Oh, wait a second. This is close. This is close. I'm going to open the other one. Oh, yeah, this is a sweet deal here. This was part of the 25 days of Christmas as well. And I got a Tackle Warehouse shirt again. But it looks like this got smashed. Hopefully it's okay. Look what I got here. <coughs> Spinning reels. This is one of the my favorite things about Tackle Warehouse 25 Days of Christmas is you can usually get some sweet reels at really good price. And this reel in particular, the CI4 Plus is one of my absolute favorites, the Stratic CI4 Plus. I just absolutely love this reel. And I've started going to the 4,000 size. Um, I find you get less line twist with the 4,000 size. It holds more line. So I, I, I'm not... I'm not someone who just does just one technique, you know, like a drop shot every single day and only need a small spool or, or whatever. I, I do all kinds of different techniques. You know, I shaky head, I drop shot, I um, Ned rig, I Nico rig. I throw small crankbaits on a spinning rod. I throw a jerk bait on a spinning rod. And I've just found that these bigger reels for me, are more versatile. You can do more with them. And this Stratic line is just amazing. And it's not the highest end line. I, I, I could show you my reels sometime. I've got a ton of reels and I've got, I've tried the most expensive, like the Stella's and those kind of things. And they're awesome, awesome reels. But to me, this is a perfect, happy medium reel where you're not spending $700 for this thing but it's not a $50 reel either. It's a, just a incredible reel. And for the price, I think you cannot beat this. You cannot beat this thing, man on there. And, and they probably still got some of these left. If you've got the money and you're looking for a great spinning reel right now on tackle warehouse, the Stratic, CI4 Plus is the bomb. And they and they have the smaller sizes too, or they did, if you're if you're not into the big spools. So most guys go with one size smaller than this, which is like the 2000 series or the 2500 series or the 3000 series, depending upon who the manufacturer is. And then the size below that's the 1000 series, which is pretty tiny. And that's what I used to go with, like that 2,500 size all the time. But uh, I've really gotten to where 4,000 is it. And these babies are sweet. Let's see if I can turn this so you can see the logo on it. That's it, boys. This is one spinning reel you could buy and have your whole life. They're that good. Just an excellent piece of fishing equipment. The price on this chuck is $179.99. And normally they're a lot higher than that, like two, two something. So for 179, it's an incredible price. Incredible. Is that thing beautiful or what? 
The Stratic. It's a great reel. Just one left of two different gear ratios. Jan just looked it up, so they've been going. They've been going. You're right, Nate. The 3,000 is kind of the happy, happy medium. The 2,500, 3,000. Yes, Dominic. The bigger spool. Well, let's put it this way. On a bait caster, the bigger spool definitely would take up more line with a single turn. The uh, spinning reel, though, the spool does not turn. The bale turns around the spool. So how much line it takes up, I don't know off the top of my head per turn. Pretty but pricey. You're right, Chuck. Pretty but pricey. But not nearly as expensive as it can get. Like I said, that Stella, that Stella reel is probably around seven hundred dollars. So one seventy nine to me, I, I think is is a very it's a value price for what I consider high quality equipment. All right, let's let's do our last spin to win winner. Let me find my questions here. In Canada, that reel costs three hundred and thirty bucks. Yeah, Rob. I don't know what the normal retail price is, but it's a lot more than one seventy nine. I can tell you that. Okay. Which one of these am I going to ask you? Okay. This one here, you can, there's actually three possible right answers. So this, this should make it a little easier as long as you've watched some of my most recent videos. If you haven't, you're not going to know this probably. But this includes three separate videos. I did three videos and they all came out like only a couple days ago. So they're one of my most recent videos. And I reviewed the missile baits tackle or uh, bass fishing kits. Missile baits makes uh, like, I don't know, six or eight bass fishing kits for different techniques. I bought three of them and uh, did a video on each of the kits so all you got to do is tell me the name of one of the three kits and you are the winner. The missile baits kits. All right, Landon, you already won, didn't you? You can't. Sorry, buddy. You can't win twice. Oh, C Big Hill 75. You got it. You are the winner. Flipping kit was one of them. David, you're right. Just a little late. Fisherman 83, you're wrong. I didn't do a drop ship shot one. I did a pond fishing kit, the Tokyo rig kit, and the flipping kit. And Landon was first, but he already won. Sea Big Hill 75 was the first one to get it right. Sea Big Hill 75. Sweet. Okay. Crazy. That means that uh, you get to spin to win. Spin to win. See Big Hill 75. Let's see if you can make it happen. Are you ready? Bubba. Let's see. Yeah, Bubba Stars, I have to go off my live chat, and you were not first. You were actually, let's see, Landon was first, then C. Big Hill, then David Turnborough, then Simon Zare, then you, Bubba Stars, according to my list. Sorry, buddy. 
not trying to hurt you, but that's just, I got to go off whatever I see scrolling here, man. All right. See big Hill. Are you ready? Let's see if he is. Here we go. Jackpot is coming. Don't do that to me, Chuck. I can't afford the jackpot. Two. I think that's the first two we've had tonight. All right. See Big Hill. Chuck, uh, land, yours says Landon first. Yeah. That's what mine says too. Landon was first, but he'd already won. He can't win twice in the same night. So that's why I went to see Big Hill next. All right. See Big Hill. Which bucket? Hard bait, soft bait, miscellaneous baits. Which one do you want? Which one do you want to pull from first? Waiting for his answer here. Soft first. Okay. Soft baits. What do you think of these buckets? Do they look cool or what? What do you think? You are welcome, Tyler. Thanks for watching. All right, so you have won the Mud Puppy in assorted, this is black and blue color, the Mud Puppy by Stanley Jiggs, Stanley Lures. All right, next bait, do you want uh, another soft plastic, a hard plastic, or the miscellaneous bucket? More stickers. Come on, Chuck. There's not a place to put another sticker. What are you talking about? Landon DM'd me. Yeah, if you're a winner, DM me on my Instagram account, which is miss at Mr. Bass TV. If you are a winner, DM me at my Instagram account at Mr. Bass TV and give me your address and I will ship out your lure. Tomorrow. See Big Hill wants the miscellaneous bucket next. Okay. There we go. Bam. You have won a Guggen Filthy Frog. Eat me. White is the color. Congratulations, dude. These look like sweet frogs. The Guggen Filthy Frog. Let me write that down. Guggen Filthy Frog and Stanley Mud Puppy. Congratulations to all the winners. And don't worry, guys. Keep watching. And you eventually got to get lucky enough to win. And... If you want the answers to the questions, watch my other videos and you will, you will get the answers. All right. Thanks for watching tonight, guys. All right. Let me just tell you Monday night. I am not doing a live stream because I have to watch my Alabama Crimson Tide win it all. So I am going to do the live stream Saturday night. Saturday night, same time, 8 p.m. I'm going to do my next live stream this Saturday night at 8 p.m. And we will spin the wheel more and give out, give out prizes out of the bait buckets. And we will talk about tackle. And uh, I'll try to think of something cool to talk about.
Let me know in the comments if there's something you would like to talk about on the next live stream. Roll Tide, Sea Big Hill. Right on. Be there, be square. Next Saturday night, 8 o'clock. Kick your bass. Thanks for watching. And everybody else, I appreciate you hopping on and sharing with me. I enjoyed it. It was fun. Please check out my other videos. Please subscribe to my Instagram channel at Mr. Bass TV. I have a TikTok channel, if they call them channels. I don't know what they call them. At Mr. Bass TV, pretty much all I do on there. I just started, but I'm taking fishing clips mostly, posted on there, then it gets duplicated on Instagram. But if you've got a TikTok account and you want to hook up, Mr. Bass TV is my account. All right, guys, I think we're done. Appreciate, again, everybody supporting the channel. It means a lot to me. I greatly appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great week and hope you get some fishing in. And I will talk to you guys later. This is going to end in three, two, one. See ya.